In this video, we'll learn how to export sprite animation frames from a composition in After Effects for use in animating with the P5 Play Library in P5.js or any other place you need a sprite animation. So you can see I've got a looping composition here in After Effects of a little laptop with a social media feed uh, scrolling along the screen. So I'm not going to get into any of the details of how I animated this or set up the composition uh, other than to go over the sizing uh, and the transparency. So uh, I made sure to set up my composition here to be 512 pixels wide and 256 pixels high. So when we're making animations that will be uh, rendered live in a digital setting, so for instance uh, in a browser game or some sort of interactive sketch in P5, uh, it's convention to try to use width and height dimensions that are powers of two. And the reasoning for this is that uh, in some cases that can make it easier for the graphics processor to deal with those images. Now you can certainly get away with uh, dimensions that aren't powers of two, but uh, like I said, just good practice and I'm in the habit of it. Uh, I've also made sure to set uh, the background that's black here to be transparent. Uh, we'll double check that when we go to do the export. And then to get this to loop, I've just made sure that the very last frame is almost exactly the same as my first frame. Uh, so that's why it can loop more or less seamlessly. So our composition's all set up. Uh, let's go over the export process. So I'm making sure that my composition is selected and I can do that either in the timeline panel uh, or in the project panel. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go up to composition in the menu bar and select add to render queue. Uh, so that'll bring up our render queue panel uh, down at the bottom of the interface. And all we need to do here is uh, make some adjustments to the output module. So where this says lossless, I'm gonna click on that like a link. And here we'll adjust the format uh, to be a PNG sequence. So the default is usually QuickTime. I'm just gonna click that drop down next to format and click PNG sequence. Uh, we wanna make sure that the channels in the video output include RGB and alpha. So that's going to bring that background transparency into our image. And that way we'll only see the laptop in the animation and the background will be transparent so we can composite it with other parts uh, of our sketch in P5. So here we'll see some options for how the files will be numbered. We're gonna get about 180 files out of this export. So I just wanna make sure that they're sequential. Uh, beyond that, I don't really need to worry about it. So let's go ahead and click okay. And then let's make sure uh, to click on the output to link so these go in the proper place. And I've already got a folder uh, within my project for the frames to go, so I'll just double click there and select it to save there. Now I can go ahead and click render. And I can see I've got all of my frames. So each one of these is an individual frame and I could take these uh, as assets into my P5 sketch. I could load them into an animation. I could also uh, alternately combine all of the images into one big sprite sheet. And sometimes for an animation with this many frames, that's the right way to go. We'll cover that in another video.